Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend, and today we are going to talk about choice and choose you this day. I worked for a marketing research company during my college years. My employer expected me to follow the script to the T. Although I was appreciative of the paycheck, I found the work to be repetitive and decidedly uncreative. It has been decades since I worked in the field and yet I still have a lot of sympathy for those who conduct those types of surveys. Now they're mostly done online. It's not an easy job as most people confuse surveyors with telephone solicitors. It's difficult to reach your daily quota because many people don't bother to answer the phone if they don't recognize your number. If I know the name of the firm conducting the survey, I will give them 10 or 15 minutes needed to answer their questions. After all, I've been there. The techniques used to gather public opinion haven't changed over the years. Most surveys, whether they're online or whether they're over the phone, give you three or four options for each question. Yes, no, undecided, or no opinion. The more obtuse I am in my response to their leading questions, the shorter my survey will be and the shorter my responsibility will be. I am rewarded for my indecisiveness or lack of commitment. But God doesn't let us off the hook that easily. His surveys only allow two choices for any question posed by him. Will you serve me or will you not? Yes or no? Are you for me or against me? Yes or no? Are you my servant or do you serve something or someone else? Jesus commands us in Matthew 5 verse 17, let your yes be yes and your no be no. And we talked about the same thing in a couple of videos back. God's surveys always revealed the underlying attitudes and hidden motivations that would remain hidden without his questioning. Joshua 24 verse 15, the children of Israel have sinned against God. And God draws a line in the sand and this is what Joshua commands those underneath him to think about. Choose this day who you will serve, whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Marketing researchers operate from selfish motivations. Their clients will use the information gathered to fine-tune marketing and political campaigns so they can sell more products or gain more votes. On the other hand, God operates from purely selfless motivation. Although his questions can cause momentary discomfort as they expose the condition of our hearts, his goal is to bring us into a place of healing, wholeness, and freedom. Hebrews 4, verse 12 and verse 16. For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit of joint and marrow and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. Let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of God that we may receive mercy and find grace in times of need. And sometimes the right question has to be asked in order for us to see the condition of our heart. But it all comes down to a choice. We cannot get by by just saying, I don't know, or I don't have an opinion, or I'd rather remain neutral on that point, God. There is no neutrality when it comes to the kingdom of God. 
you're either for him or against him. You either serve him or you decide not to serve him. Christians can no longer be passive or claim that we are neutral when it comes to the issues that are facing us across the globe. You're either his or you are in service to something else or someone else.